So yeah, in this example where we just have an extrusion straight down and we have this flat plane as our, our kind of low res, because the angles are so similar, right? we're just not gonna pick up the detail on these edges. So one solution is to basically scale this thing. Oops, uh, am I grabbing the right thing here? All right, we can sort of scale that face inward so these faces in here pick up. Or we can sort of say, okay, well, what we're gonna do is just take the edges and bevel them all so sometimes that's just a solution to kind of pick up detail when it's missing from the normal app so i might just say okay let's go in and you know, we can give them a simple bevel or maybe a much more rounded bevel like this for example right and again if you have weird shading issues like i find like oh maybe the shading's still kind of weird here i can just go mesh display uh soften harden edges uh yeah i'll try 90 but we'll see if that works and again if it's kind of weird i try to you know jump down into different different uh different kind of angle amounts and see what works best. 30 is often a good one, just kind of quick and easy. All right, so we get pretty decent smoothing. I'm gonna export this and rebake it, uh, high poly plane. Okay, so let's go back and just do a quick bake. There, so you see that detail now showing up, right? So then if I quickly go in and just reload this, set it back to raw, then we see that kind of beveling taking hold. If it was just the flat edges, because it's kind of running perpendicular, right? Meaning 90 degrees from the surface angle and the normals. If it's running in parallel with the normals, then you're not going to see the detail unless there's more uh, modeling. Now, uh, as I kind of briefly mentioned, the same thing can potentially happen with, um, here, maybe I'll just import by the way, if you see me exporting things, if I export stuff for baking and texture painting, I typically export OBJ. It's a universal 3D object file, pretty much re uh, readable by any version of software from almost any era. So it's it's a pretty uh, great way to kind of make sure your files are always accessible and readable as a 3D mesh, basically. Let's see if I can uh, import. Uh, oops, I don't want to import that. All right, so where's my spheres here? My high poly spheres are not that great. Now, the reason my plane also worked, like I didn't have to do UVs on it, is because the, um, I think that's the high and the low. Here's the low. So yeah, I had to bevel these because the angle, like I said, if we sort of compared the low and the high, right? If we go back into display and we're going to go to, yeah, let's just go and tear this off again. Uh, vertex normals. You know, you want any extrusion you do, right? Thankfully, this, if you take a look at the angle of this extrusion, here, let me grab this, right? That extrusion uh, is just a little bit off of the, of the normals here, as you can see, right? There's just a little bit different. So that, that polygon will pick up, but you wouldn't necessarily see those sides if this thing was a little bit uh, bigger. Where's my scale tool? I'm just gonna go to object manipulator. Oh no, what do I want it on? I want it on component, that's it. Okay. so. Yeah, like I said, if this thing were like just a little bit, oops, sorry, I'm on kind of multiple objects here. So if I, yeah, if this thing were just a little bit wider at the top, maybe a little bit bigger across here, it might track the normals at the low, and then you wouldn't even see those sides. So you'd have to kind of bevel around here, if that makes sense, right? You have to bevel for that edge to even show up in a normal map as an extrusion. So that's just something I want to make sure you guys understand is that sometimes you have to either scale things in a little bit or out a little bit or bevel certain edges so that they actually read because, you know, your detail may be uh, kind of like showing up in parallel, right, to the normals of the object. So you want to make sure if things are running in parallel that then, okay, you bevel it or bevel it more straight or you scale it. So you have a, at least an angle for things to be picked up by the normal map. 